The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, sixteenth chapter, text number twenty-three, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January nineteenth, nineteen seventy-four, in Hawaii. Translation: <coughs> O Mother Earth, the supreme personality of Godhead Hari incarnated himself as Lord Sri Krishna just to unload your heavy burden. All his activities here are transcendental and they cement the path of liberation. You are now bereft of his presence. You are probably now thinking of those activities and feeling sorry in their absence. Hmm. So, is suggesting uh, so many things. Why uh, Mother Earth in the shape of a cow was uh, morose? You are suggesting so many. So one of the suggestions is that Krishna was present. Now uh, he is not present. Therefore, uh, you are so morose. So, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Yada yada hi dharmasya jnani bhavati bharata, abhutthanam adharmasya tadatmanam sijamaham. Krishna incarnates when there is uh, discrepancies in the matter of discharging uh, religious principles. Hmm. Just like when there is discrepancy in the discharge of law and order, the government takes a special measure. Uh, what is called that? A special law. Martial law. Not martial law. There is another. Martial law is also one of the emergency law. Mm. So anyway, the nature's arrangement is like that. Uh, just like children, they are allowed to play, but under certain conditions. Uh, <clears throat> so we all, we are all children of God, Krishna. So we have come here to enjoy, to lord it over the material nature. <coughs> that is the tendency. So Krishna has given us the facility. Uh, just like in the beach, there are many young men who are playing in the sea with surf, uh, but still the government has watch over it. Government's duty is that they, they may not be drowned. So here it is risky. We have come here to enjoy. Actually we are not meant for enjoying. We are meant for serving. Krishna uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Jive Sharu Poy Nitya Krishna Das. Uh, our real identity is to serve, to remain under the protection. We are always under the protection, this way or that way. But we are thinking falsely that we are free. We are not free. Uh, we, Krishna is taking care of us. They allowed us. All right, you have come here. Try to satisfy yourself. Uh, but there are certain rules and regulations. Uh, if you break those rules and regulations uh, for your interest, Krishna takes the measures. Uh, Yada yada hi dharmasya grani bhavati bharata. Tadatmanam sijamam. 
अभ्युत्थानम अधर्म सदात्मान सुजाम सो हियर कृष्णा केम एंड दिस इंसिडेंस टू प्लेस आफ्टर डिसअपेरेंस ऑफ कृष्ण कोली जो एंटर्ड आफ्टर डिसअपेरेंस ऑफ कृष्ण परीक्षित महाराज वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी विजिलेंट द पांडवस द लेफ्ट देयर किंगडम बिकॉज दे कूड अंडरस्टैंड दैट कोली युग हैज ऑलरेडी एंटर्ड स भूरिभार अवतार कृतावतार भूरिभार मैन पीपल बिकम टू मच सिनफुल दे आर्थ बिकम्स ओवर बार्डन लाइक द सिनफुल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द पीपल दैट वट इज कॉल भूरिभार अवतार एंड कृष्ण कम्स टू मिटिगेट धर्म सग्लानी भवती भारत तदात्मा सुजाम हम पितावतार हरे दरित्री दिस इज द पर्पज ऑफ अवतार अवतार दिस वर्ड इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट दे तरण तरण मीन्स मुवमेंट एंड अब अब मीन डाउन दिस लाइक अवनति So avataran Krishna leads in the spiritual sky <coughs> beyond this material sky very high and Krishna loka the planet of Krishna is the topmost planet in the spiritual world that is stated in the Brahma Sanghita Goloka namni nije dhamni tale chatasya uh, the topmost planet is goloka goloka vrindavan right we have seen the picture it is lotus like so goloka namni nijadhami that is his personal abode uh, tale chatasya below that goloka namni nijadhami tale chatasya below that planet uh, गोलोक नाम निज धाम तले चत देवी महेश हरि धाम सु देवी दिस यूनिवर्स दिस मेटीरियल यूनिवर्स इज कॉल्ड देवी धाम देवी धाम मीन्स अंडर द प्रोटेक्शन और सुपरविशन ऑफ मादर नेचर दैट इज कॉल्ड देवी धाम material nature so goloka naam ni nije dham ni tale chatasya devi devi dham this material world is devi dham uh, under the you have seen the picture of durga uh, <coughs> so material nature is also devi devi dham and mahesh dham Above this, there is Mahesh Dham, the uh, region of Lord Shiva, Devi Mahesh Hari Dhamus. Then the Bhikkhunta, and uh, the topmost is Krishna Dham. So go, that is that Dham or that uh, universal system that is very very big. Uh, uh, many times this material universe is considered one fourth creation uh, it is one ekangshina sthito jagat in the bhagavad gita it is said uh, this material world is one fourth creation of god and the three fourth creation is the spiritual world uh, just imagine this material world this universe which you are saying uh, the biggest sky dome this is one universe uh, that is also stated we get all this in, in, uh, information from vedic literature uh, 
this universe is only one single universe and there are so many planets, stars. These are all stated in the Brahma Sangita. Jasya prabha prabhavato jagadanda koti. Jagadanda koti. Jagadanda means universe. And koti means millions. One hundred thousand. One hundred times. So, jasya prabha prabhavato jagadanda koti. Jagadanda means this one universe. Ondo. Ondo means egg. Uh, therefore it is called Jagadan, egg-like, round. We are within the egg. Jasya prabha prabhavato jagadanna koti. There are millions of eggs like clustered together. This is material world. Millions, not one. And each universe, koti su vasudhādi vibhūti bhinnam, in each universe there are millions and trillions of stars and planets. Koti su vibhuti. And each each one of them is different from the other. Just like you are going to trying to go to the moon planet, but you cannot stay there. Because the atmosphere is different. Everything is there. Jasya prabha prabhavato jagadanda koti. Kotishu, Vasudhādi. Vasudhā means planets. This is also called Vasudhā, this planet. So just imagine what insignificant this Vasudhā in comparison to the whole material world. There are millions of universes, and in each and every universe there are millions and trillions of the stars and planets. This is the whole creation of material world. And taking them together, this is one-fourth creation of God. Uh, the three-fourth creation is the spiritual world. Uh, and in that spiritual world, the topmost planet is called Goloka Vindava. That is the place of Krishna. Uh, so Krishna comes down from that. Therefore, Avataran comes down. Therefore, he is called Avatar or any Vishnu incarnation who comes down, uh, they come down from the uh, higher planetary system, therefore it is called avatar. Uh, incarnation means avatar who comes down from the higher position. <coughs> therefore here it is says, Gita avatar asya hare, hare, of uh, the supreme personality of God. Hare, hare means who takes away all your miserable condition. Hari, haran, harati. Harati means take away. He comes out here just to give you a benediction to save you from all kinds of miseries. Therefore his name is Hari. Jashyamanagirnāme the song Aham Onagrani, Onagrinami, I forget now. Krishna says that when I show to somebody a special fever, fever, I take away all his position. That is special fever. This question was asked by Yudhishthir uh, Maharaj. Uh, <coughs> no, Parikit Maharaj, to Sukhdev Goswami. Yashyama Anudhyanta Hare Dhanam. Because here in this material world, the more we possess material world, wealth, it is our bondage. Ahagamamit, uh, because our bondage is we are uh, entrapped here by material opulences. Material opulences 
आर नॉट वेरी गुड फॉर स्पिरिचुअल एडवांसमेंट जस्ट द वेस्टर्न पीपल दे आर मेटीरियली एडवांस दे पजेस दे डू नॉट पजेस बट देर एनर्जी इज यूटिलाइज फॉर कन्वर्टिंग थिंग्स फ्रॉम वन सेफ टू एन अदर दैट मीन्स द एनर्जी बींग वेस्ट इट इज गुड क्रेडिट फॉर यू मेटीरियली दैट यू हैव शो नाइस कार्स नाइस स्काई स्कर्ट बिल्डिंग सो मेनी नाइस थिंग्स यू हैव क्रिएटेड दैट इज गुड क्रेडिट गुड क्रेडिट मेटीरियली spiritually it is not good credit spiritually it is waste of energy waste of energy because uh, have and nicely you have made all these uh, material facilities amenities you cannot stay here you cannot you have got a certain amount of energy so that energy is meant for some other purpose so your energy not being utilized for the real purpose of life if you utilize it for increasing your so called material happiness uh, actually they have not become happy otherwise why so many young boys and girls they are disappointed uh, because this kind of advancement will not make us happy that is a fact therefore uh, if you waste your energy uh, for things which are not wanted then uh, you are not advancing you are being defeated oh. that they do not know that is stated in the simad bhagavatam पराभवस्तावत अबोध जात जावन्न जिज्ञास आत्म तत्म पराभव पराभव मीन्स डिफीट सावत सो लॉन्ग ऑल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द मेटीरियलिस्टिक पर्सन आर सिंपली डिफीट पराभवस्तावत अबोध जात अबोध अबोध मीन्स फूल्स रेस्केल्स ignorant uh, born foolish rascals ignorant we are all born foolish so if you are not properly educated uh, then we remain fools and rascals and the activities of fools and rascals this is simply waste of time because uh, uh, it is called the busy rascals uh, Busy rascal. If a rascal is busy, that means he is simply spoiling the energy. Oh. Just like monkey. Monkey is very busy. Uh, of course, according to Mr. Darwin, uh, they are coming from monkey. Uh, so monkey's business is simply waste of time. Uh, He is very busy. He will find, find always busy. So the busy fool is dangerous. There are four classes of men: lazy, intelligent, busy, intelligent, lazy fool, and busy fool. <laughs> so first class man is lazy, intelligent. Just like you see. the high court judges uh, that are very lazy and most intelligent that is first class uh, they are doing everything very soberly uh, and the next class busy intelligent uh, intelligence should be used very sober and the third class uh, lazy fool uh, lazy at the same time fool And the fourth class, busy fool. Busy fool is very dangerous. <laughs> so all these people that busy uh, in, in this country, 
uh, everywhere, all over the world, not this country or that country, they have discovered this horseless carriage, very busy. Uh, horse, horse, this way, this way, this way. But actually they are not intelligent, busy food. Therefore, they are creating problems after problems. That's a fact. They are so busy, uh, but because they are full, therefore they are creating problems. This is fact. Uh, even the uh, animals, lower than the human being, uh, they have no problem. Uh, what is the problem? First of all, we have got some physical necessities. So, ahara nidra bhayamaitu. Our physical necessities that we want to eat, that is necessary to maintain this body. Ahar, nidra, rest. We must have some rest also. So, ahara nidra bhaya. Bhaya means being, to become afraid of. That is material nature. We are always afraid of. Therefore, we have military strength. Your country is very busy. Uh, in that way, how to protect. Everyone should be protection. Uh, we also uh, sleep at night, closing the door, because we are afraid of burglars and other so many dangers. So that is also required to take protection uh, from enemies. Ahara, nidra, and moithu, and sexual intercourse. These are physical necessities. So these physical necessities, if you study they amongst the animals, they have no problem. Uh, but as yesterday we were talking, so the human society, they have created problem. Uh, nobody knows where to eat. Uh, uh, these hotels means, increase of number of hotels means that People have no place to live. They have no fixed place to live. Today in this hotel, the next day in another hotel. There's so many restaurants means the people have no fixed place where to eat. Oh. The solution in India is still, because they are not so materially advanced, even the poorest man, has got some certain fixed up place, his cottage. He has got his wife, he has got his <coughs> child, and he works whatever he can do. He lives peacefully still in the village, although he has got very gorgeous dress and motor car. But he is peaceful, uh, refined. Uh, still, uh, and sometimes, so about ten years ago, I was in Ahmedabad, I saw one poor man, he was spooning cart, uh, hand, hand, hand cart, what is it called? Rickshaw. No, not rickshaw, uh, uh, for carrying loads. Uh. Anyway, we call it thela in India. So the thela, thela in that cart there was sufficient load. Uh, so one side of the thela there was the wife. And the other side was the husband, and they had a little child, and that child was put upon the load, you see, and they are putting. But that means the husband and wife working as, as God has given them to work. So they are working, taking care of the child. So after earning money, they will go home. They have got a little cottage, and uh, the wife will cook, the husband will eat, and that is true. That is that It doesn't matter whether first class eating, second class eating, doesn't matter. But still they have got a home, and there they live peacefully. The wife cooks for the husband, and the husband eats, and the child is also taken care. It is not killed. Ah, there is peaceful. Peacefulness, there is. But here, the advance to civilization, the mother is killing the child, abortion. 
still it is called advancement. Mother's duty is to take care of the child. Motherly affection, woman is meant, meant for that. And now <coughs> the problem is the mother doesn't want children. And to avoid children, they are killing. Regularly they are killing. So what is the use of uh, this civilization? Uh, because you are becoming implicated in sinful activities, and therefore <coughs> you have to be punished. Uh, you cannot escape the punishment of God, as you can escape the punishment of the state. No. Uh, you have no right to kill even an ant without any purpose, without any sanction. And they do not know. Uh, therefore, Prahlad Maharaj says, Bharamud Bhato Vimura. Prahlad Maharaj, uh, great devotee, uh, so he was offered by Nishinga the benediction, my dear Prahlad, you have suffered so much uh, for me uh, from your father's side. He has uh, chastised you in so many ways because you are my devotee. Now your father is killed. Uh, that is finished. Now you take whatever benediction you want from me. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj said, uh, My Lord, I have no problem. <coughs> so why shall I ask you for anything? Huh? <coughs> I have no problem. Everyone has got problem in this material world. They are trying to overcome the problem. But I have no problem. I have no problem because mind, mind is always absorbed in glorifying your Lordship. Therefore I have no problem. Keep some. Uh, you feel immediately refreshed. However burden you may feel, as soon as you perform Krishna, Krishna Kirtana, you will find him immediately refreshed. Uh, so one who has got taste for this Kirtana, he has no problem. Uh, that is Prahlad Maharaj said. Because my heart is always uh, merged into the ocean of your glorification, I have no problem. Uh, this is the devotee. Everyone goes to God to uh, mitigate some problem. God gives us our daily bread. That means bread is a problem, and that is the general tendency. They go to temple charge to mitigate some problem. And as soon as the problem is finished, they forget God. No more charge, no more temple. You see? That is not devotion. Devotion is that no problem. I am ready to serve you, my Lord. Well, that is life. No problem. We should not take to Krishna consciousness and Sankirtan to solve some problem. No. That is not pure devotion. When you will feel that there is no problem, I am chanting, glorifying, so I am becoming merged into the ocean of bliss. That is perfect. Thank you very much.